Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem. It's mission day and that means that our inventory has been done. So if we have a look, everybody is equipped. Look at that. Full equipped. They are, well, you know, some of them don't get things. Like Manuela just gets an iron sword because she really doesn't need it. So, anyway. Everyone has something. Oh, I need to go in there and out. Yeah, it doesn't actually equip anything until you go into the character and out again. Bit weird, but whatever, it doesn't actually make too much of a difference. There is one thing, however. Actually, I need to go back in here to properly explain it. With Caspar. You may notice he has no brawling equipment. Weird, huh? Well, that's because I've decided for Caspar that we are going to change his class over to Brigand. The reason we're doing that gives him a little extra strength, which is pretty good. So, we'll let him take the Brigand exam, which he passes. Hopefully he gets a stat up. You know, fingers crossed. Oh yeah, nailed it. No. Okay. Well, he switches class. Why are we doing that? Well, he gets the strength up. And it should mean if I go in here and abilities and then go to Caspar, I can now give him the unarmed combat ability. So he can still use brawling stuff. So he doesn't actually lose anything. What's his born fighter one do? I always forget it. Oh yeah. The people near him take minus eight. Avo. I probably should use that more often. I keep forgetting their unique abilities because a lot of them don't actually have... Well, it doesn't seem like they have a large impact. They tend to actually have an impact if you use them, but you know what I mean? They don't... Like, they're not obvious in the way that, like, just hitting people is. Um, right. And I wanted to show you what Lightning Axe does. That's might increases by res. Um, I believe Edelgard does not have high res, but I will quickly check that as well. So, Edelgard, her res is, was on the first page, was oh, it's actually in the bottom left. It's seven, so I'm not really imagining that's going to do a lot of damage. Anyway, do a quick save because we have now set up that extra cert, and let's start the mission. We are so equipped for this mission because there's some things I want to do in it, and hopefully we can succeed at that. The Remire Calamity. A pattern of strange occurrences in Remire Village has suddenly erupted into something far more serious. The Remire Calamity. White Clouds Chapter 8, The Flame in the Darkness. We've gotta go, now. Okay. The situation in Remire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Kill! Kill! Ah! <laughs> that really unsettles me, that. Help! Somebody please help! What's going on here? This is horrific. It's even more revolting. More terrible than I expected. I'm wondering whether that's meant to be some more foreshadowing. More terrible than she expected. Like, she expected something. But not all of this. Hmm. It really is horrifying. Yes, we must find a way to save this village. True. But if we are not careful about how we proceed, we will only increase the death toll. The villagers are attacking each other. Let's knock them all out one by one. Always so reckless. You do know that if we mess up, we will either kill or be killed, right? Still, we cannot just stand here twiddling our thumbs and doing nothing. I'd r really like to go home now. But there's no time for thoughts like that. We have to help them. I am waiting for your orders with full readiness. Wait. Those people over there, they seem to be observing the chaos. They must be behind this. Eliminate them and rescue all of the unafflicted villagers. Okay, so that was Edelgard again. With a little bit more knowledge, she's like, oh, they must be behind this. I forget how it happened in yellow. And whether they, whether it was quite as obvious on that one, as in whether, I forget whether somebody outright said, oh, it must be them. Because that could just be Edelgard filling in that position. 
But I guess because I know where Edelgard's going to end up, I'm, co I'm constantly seeing foreshadowing that may or may not be there. So, it's interesting. Anyway, how many units we get? We get 10. Okay, plus two um, people are going to be out. Alright, so let's just unmark everyone. Just for just now. Right, units. Now, Anna, I think, is pretty low on my list of people to bring. Um, but apart from that, who else are we bring? Well, we're going to bring those people. Um, Manuela, Hubert, Caspar, Bernadetta. Wait, did I put Manuela on there? Why am I bringing Manuela? Probably better bring Shamir or Lysithia, probably. Instead of Anna. Um, Shamir could be interesting. She does have a lot of bows. Yeah, we could take her, but that does... Yeah. That does kind of fill us up with bow-based people. Not that many, I suppose. Lysithia is incredibly good. I just... I have this natural uh, thing to not want to use her just because we used her so much in the previous um, run. Right. So then I want Lysithia to probably sit on top of Edelgard. Because that's fairly alright. And then... Maybe Manuela? <clears throat> yeah, maybe Manuela. Sorry, a bit of coughing there, just thinking here. Uh, Manuela. We'll put on top of... Us, maybe? Hers is a heal. Heal's not that useful, but Anna's like the worst adjutant because she doesn't get you support. Hanneman could be alright. I could stick Hanneman on top. Let's stick Hanneman on top of Hubert. There we go. That's something. Right. Next one. We're gonna go into a... What do we need to do? Map. That's it. I, there's always something you need to do here. So we go zoom out. There is one chest. There's, sorry, there's two chests. One here, one far, t oh wow, one there, then one far up to the top left. Wait. Oh, map was upside down. Yeah, so there's one over here, and there's one over this way. Yeah, this is definitely a situation where you're like, these would be much easier if we had a flyer. If you just fly over here, pick it up. We do have people who can move fairly quickly, though. Um, that's not what I want to do. I wanted to head out here. Let's go to inventory. Who still has spaces? It's basically, we don't have any doors, we just have a uh, chest. So anyone who has a space should just get a chest key. Yeah. Uh, so, in here, you get a chest key. Uh, you're gonna get a chest key, even though it's pointless to give you one, because you're unlikely to be in that location, but that's okay. Caspar can have a chest key. Petra can have a chest key. I'm just seeing who else we've got, whether we have someone who's slightly better. Nah. I guess Lintart could have a chest key. Okay. Right. Probably not going to pick up too much from the chests here. Do a little save in here. Then, we want to change our map. So, now it's the spoilers bit. Um, Death Knight appears here. Do we fight him? I would like to fight him. You can actually see exactly where he appears by that right there. I would like to fight the Death Knight. He is very strong at this point. We need to be able to get over here. Uh, I'm just seeing. Is there any way through here? Not only navigates well by flyer, so you have to try. You have to go through this way. Okay. So, given it's rubble, that probably means that we're going to want to run. Mm, here's where it goes contrary to our wanting to kill the Death Knight. Because wanting to kill the Death Knight, you'd think, all right, well. We're going to send Lapsa up there because she's the highest leveled. However, by doing that, we then basically say this side's screwed. So I guess we maybe we want to send an archer over that side. Given a Death Knight can retaliate from any distance, I think that means we should send Bernadetta. Because he gets no benefit. Maybe we should just send two archers on that side. Like, just run them up and just shoot our way through. Two archers and then, like, one melee to go with them. So, like, Caspar. Something like that. That would be pretty good. And then on the other side... Uh, yeah, the other side will bring everyone else. Something like this, maybe? And then we, we move... Basically, these three will go left and try and clear out that. And then the rest will head to the other side. Now, does any of them have a chest key? 
Oh, it doesn't matter, because there's no chests up there. Oh, it does matter, because I want them to not have the chest key. So, you have a chest key. So, I guess I basically take the chest key off Casper. And then give it to someone else. I could just buy more chest keys. But, you know, we don't have that much money left. I don't know if I showed you how much money we have, but, um... Alright, let's give Dorothea a chest key. Uh, money is a little tight. Although we do have four bata uh, it's four battalions, four bullions. Oh, there's another thing I need to do in the marketplace anyway, so well, we can do yeah. this. So the other thing I need to do is battalion guild, just check we have no replenish. Sure. Right, see, we only have 2,000 left. We had 34,000 before this. Um, yeah. Didn't do too well with the finances. Right. Let's fight. Route the enemy. Um, laps at Edelgard or Geralt falls in battle. Interesting. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? Got it. I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Okay. We'll try and do that. So first Put move, I'm thinking we have to charge forward like this. Just checking what our chance, our chance to crit is 70%. Do it. Kill, kill. Here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Fantastic, love it. Right. Oh, no. Just gonna move Bernadetta over here. Um, gonna use Enclosure, and that'll mean that they can't move away. There we go. That's fairly good. That one now can't move, so that villager is effectively, well, a little bit more safe. To work. Shamir, move forward and attack um, over here. Yeah. Just shoot him with whatever you got. Nice. Right, you're still attacking that guy, apparently. Oh, wait, they can't get past here, can they? Uh, not easily. No, they can't get past, um, Caspar. Fantastic. Well, that's, uh, good planning by me. Uh, I mean, yeah, obviously. As you wish. So I'm gonna move all the way up here and just blast them with whatever's gonna <laughs> kill them. Uh, I was tempted to do that. Might just do Banshee. Gotcha. That seemed to work. Level 18. Wonderful. Can we get another magic? Perfect. Right. <laughs> Gonna send Lindhart forward. Let's get him to finish that one off. No problem. Right. Over on this side. I will prevail. Gonna move in here. Um, I don't really need to use anything too much because he can't hurt uh, Edelgard. So maybe just a steel axe. <laughs> Especially as Edelgard gets more defense after attacking because I put that one on. So should be fairly good. Um, I will just run Petra time. forward and get her to uh, just end that one. Yep. Solid. Oh, I also Stay repaired focused. the um I repaired the bow. Not the bow, the um sword. That's the word I was looking for. Uh you know, the sword of the creator. Just just because we could. Uh switch to the steel sword. And then wait there. We can go a long way here. I'm not I sure if that's something we want to be Iron. doing. We'll stop on that bit. Just because I don't want to charge that's in too cue. much. Could heal there, but I'm just going to move in closer. Right, go. That was fairly good for a first turn. They can't really get past Caspar. Um, and we killed everyone who needs to kill. Caspar's taking a bit of damage, though. That's a lot of damage he's taken. I don't have a healer over there. That's going to be my main issue, I think, actually, looking at it. I could spin Lindhart into it over there. Or maybe stay, get Lintart to stay in the center and just visit. That could be fine. All the villagers are getting hit. 
We knew that was going to happen, though. Hey, nice. The church souls are dodged. And then up there, I don't know how we're getting up there in time. But we'll see. Yeah, the one behind the wall should be mostly safe. For a turn, maybe. Anyway. Yep, Gerald doesn't take that much damage. That's good to see. Oh, double miss. Okay. Gerald attacks in now, gets his kill. Sorry, knocks out the rampaging villager, obviously. Um, and the rest are running. Good. That's what I like to see. Why would you run towards them? Are you just straight up stupid? Alright. I, I stop him from moving and he's like, oh, you know where I should run? Towards them. The one giving commands in the back. I'm certain that's Tomas the Librarian. Okay, nobody gonna question that. Fine, whatever. Um, We could definitely run up and heal. Yeah, I think we should probably use Lintar as a healer on the left side. Just want to see whether we got anything that can do multi-attack here. No. Nothing can even get the kill there. What about you, Shamir? Can you get the kill there? Yes. You can just kill. That'll, that'll do it. Okay. Solid. Thank you. We saved that one. Gonna run over the top here. Um, curve shot onto this one. Just seeing whether we need anything else. Yeah, I guess we have to do that. Oh, we could use Dead Eye, which is quite a high hit chance now, thanks to all of our accuracy boosts. Yeah, okay. Use Dead Eye. It's a hundred percent hit. Do it. Just to avoid using the Silver Bow. Nice. So that wasn't actually the one attacking him, but it was the one who was near the one attacking him. Still raring to go. Right. Um, Iron Axe. One hit. Go. Good. Yeah, I'm going to keep Lintart in the center. He is about to be attacked by this guy. Uh, so we need to bring someone over there to kill that guy. Guess that could be Hubert. Could just use Hubert Lindhart again. I really want to use Hubert up on the top right. Oh, just checking what's this this guy's range. Okay, that's fine. I really want to use Hubert in the top right because he's got some good stuff going on with his um what's uh, what with um what's it called? Battalions. That's it. I'll get there eventually. Oh, just crit. I'll do it. Hey! The magic user's leveled up. Wonderful. Um, so I'm thinking ahead in here and then just use a physic over this way. I can always warp, I suppose, yeah. I could always warp um, next turn and just get Hubert where I need him to be. Okay, that's fine. Gonna run around here. Just kill him with whatever the weakest weapon we can kill him with is. Nice. Level 19 for Edelgard. She definitely needs to be up there as well with this uh, Death Knight killing thing. Ooh, and Lysithia leveled up. Nice. She got magic as well. Steel gauntlets. Yeah, chuck them in the convoy. Right. Gonna run us up here. Uh, quickly chip. Yeah, we're on the steel sword, that's fine. And just do a heal. Yeah. Keep the villager up. Right. Gonna move Ferdinand in behind. Just wait him there. Petra can charge up. And I suspect that means that, yeah, you're not in the best of positions. But I can now attack over the over here. With something. Don't really want to use group flames there. Just use thunder. There we go. A little bit of damage. Sets it up quite nicely for next turn. I think this is going well. This is going better than it went on the uh, hard attempt. That I did. Like on the previous one. 
Yeah, that villager is not looking so hot, but that's okay. It might be due to the large amount of ranged I have here. Like, I have an extremely large amount of ranged attacks. We're not going to be able to save the ones in the top left, but you know. Hey, he dodged. Maybe we will be able to save him. Okay. He didn't dodge them. Yep, mysterious soldier. Fine. I think that's absolutely okay, what's happening there. The only problem is that Geralt basically puts us on a uh, timer in this fight. Because Geralt basically, um, if he runs into the center, he starts the final fight, I believe. So it's a little bit of a problem. Hey, he did two damage. I'm very surprised. Right. Here, we don't actually need to kill the, um... Yeah, we don't need to kill... Sorry, we don't need to heal the villagers. Because if we kill the villagers, it has the same effect. What I'm wondering is, do I want to run in here? Because we have a chest key, don't we? And I could open that chest. It takes two turns out of our way. So we run down here, open the chest, run back. That is two turns to get back to where we are. Ah, it, it pains me to, to give up a chest. That's, that's why I'm like... I could run Petra down there, I suppose. And then she can at least shoot this turn. Yeah. You know what? That's fine. Just seeing what we want to do here. Probably kill her bow, I guess. She might just crit. She didn't. Okay. She at least hit. That's all we could really ask for. Right. And then I can run Ferdinand down here. And get him to use... Probably Tempest Lance. Uh, Iron Lance. There we go. Nice. Thank you. So I can now run up here. See, I don't know whether that's going to be close enough to trigger Death Knight. Just Sword of the Creator. Uh, it's not that much of a no in my mind. Just Sword of the Creator. Do it. Remember, we're not killing them. We're just knocking them out. Thank you. I just wanted to make that easy rather than make it like it could be a very difficult there. How things were going. Right, run up this way. I think warp this turn seems like the right move. Yeah, because Bernadetta can use Enclosure if we need her to. Yes. So I want to use Warp. Yeah. It's not a long way, but it is necessary. The reason it's necessary is because that gets Hubert in here. And Hubert is really, really good with his battalion. Right. Put me in there. Uh she cannot hit this one with an enclosure. Well, that sucks. I might have to re rewind time. Yep. Because I need um, Lindhart to heal. As you wish. We don't get that much of a boost anyway. Ugh. Battle. Nope. This this one. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. Oh no. Should be fine here. Uh, could use Dead Eye and hit with like the mini bow or something. Yeah, do that. Had a crit chance. Didn't crit. That's fine. To work. Ooh, can I kill? No, I can get one off killing. All right, I want to leave them a route out, so I'm gonna. Wait, I can still attack here? Oh, I can attack this wall. I mean, I suppose I still get XP for killing the wall? I don't know, maybe? Yeah, I got one XP for attacking. Put me in there. And I get support. Alright, we'll wait there. Right. 
Tomas, what are you doing here? Dare I even ask? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all! What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrig Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. New victory condition, defeat the enemy commander. I was worried that was going to happen. I have a bit of fun here too. Yep. I was very That's worried. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is. Uh, he moves. The reason I'm shocked is because he didn't move previously. He just sat and waited for you. Yeah. Well, that changes a lot, especially if he's running behind the Death Knight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, at least that bit's kind of neutral because they can't really get past. Okay, he's still alive. Uh. Now I'm very worried. We may need a rewind at some point. This is fine. We still can't run past that guy, I just realized. No, don't kill yourself! Why? You were so useful where you were. Okay, um... Well, I guess that means the Death Knight. Let me just have a look here. You can run up here. Alright, well... Stay focused. Gonna throw out that I'd like to go here. As our, as our distance, that makes sense, right? Um... Doesn't really matter what I have equipped because we're not going to be attacked. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Ferdinand has a lot of anti uh, cavalry stuff, which is why I'm bringing him I along. Will prevail. I think Edelgard can take a single hit. That's my cue. Yeah, we'll run Dorothea up here. I don't know if I can actually get you in range. I could run a lot. I could run him back one, but I don't know if that's better than war. Yeah, I'm just going to run up here. I'm still gonna open. I'm gonna open the chest, figure out what it is, and then decide what to do next. Giant shell. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. That's, that's what I'm gonna say. It's not bad. It's okay. Um. Oh, you know what I need to do here? No, 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 no. First of all, just head up and kill. Uh, you don't have a kill. Okay. What about this? That'll do. Yeah. Heavy draw, right to the face. Hey, level 17 for Shamir. More strength, huh? Just what she always needed. Thank you. What's their attack radius, actually? Hmm. Okay, maybe. See, what I'm thinking is we could head it through here with this group. I guess actually what we want to do is we could probably head up through the center now. That might work. What I'm also thinking is if I attack... Oh, do you pass? Need to check whether they have pass. They do not have pass. Okay, cool. So I can do... Actually, what's... I can't see what his range is. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I want to have a look at... Closer? Yeah, there we go. So that should now have kept that one still. You can still attack to all these places, so you must be able to pass through somehow. Oh, you... No, wait a second. Pass is only for... Oh wait, no, this is fine. As long as I create a wall of people. Hmm. That's not going to work. It wait, does our allies turn go first or is I think we're fine either way here. I think we're fine. Do I run him up here? No I do. If I'm trying to save everyone, the best move is to warp. 
Caspar up here. Right? Change, change my tact. Hey, we get faith level five. So then I can run Caspar all the way up here. And I can start to get him in range. Right. Oh, more spawning, huh? Oh, okay then. Oh, just spawn and hit us. Don't. Don't worry about that. Like, I, I could completely uh, prepare for that move. I do love it where they just spawn them and it's like, hey, we're just going to hit you now. Just screw you. That's a death. Yeah. It's very difficult to stop that one. Unless you have flyers. That's a dead Lindhart unless you can dodge. Dodge. Okay, well. I would like to please skip the enemy turn. Which one's the skip one? There we are. So all the way back here. So the giant shell was fine. Yeah, so that's like the last bit where I'm fine with it. I mean, I don't really like that Ferdinand got hit, but you know, we'll, we'll work through it. To work. Right. Here, I actually just need to do heavy draw. That's it. Right. So that bit's solved. He saved. You know what? Maybe I say that's the last one I save and just run out here. Maybe try and heal this guy or something. Don't know. Cool. We got faith level five. Put me in there. He should be fine even if he gets hit. I'm gonna switch to unarmed though. And then Bernie, I need to just run out here. She can still hit. Wow. Okay. Do it. It hit and did damage. That's... Uh, excuse me? They only didn't spawn last time because I was standing on the spawn spot. Uh... Garbage? Complete garbage. Okay. Well, good to know. He dodged. Good job. Yeah, now they're both shooting at church soldier who's about to commit suicide here. That's fine. Right. They're all getting stopped in the foresty bit. I would love to have... Um, what's his name up there? Hubert. Yep. Why? I is a good question there. Okay. Hubert cannot get up. Can, we, can everyone here get out of range? Yes. I am Ferdinand so if I attack here... Of like Killer Lance, there we are. And Tempest Lance. Oh, it's a crit. Nice. The reason I'm suggesting that. That's pretty good as well. The level up's nice. We can now retreat back here. And wait. I will prevent. You can retreat here. And wait. Stay focused. You can retreat here and heal. Thank you. Nice. That now lets us get Hubert up here. Wish. Don't, don't know why I rallied. We can now also get, get Petra turn. back a little bit. So she might be in range next turn as well. I like I'm liking this more I do it. Um I'd rather retreat. Right. Just shoot him back. Right. So that should be Bernie in safety. No? She, who can she be hit by this guy? Okay. Mm, these aren't looking good. How about Killer Axe Smash? 
It's a crit. That's what I'm looking for. You see that? That'll do it. All right, now Shamir is safe. I'm gonna move Shamir back this way. I mean, I could move Shamir through and try and get her up there, but I don't think it's happening. With two people attacking, I think that Shamir just needs to take the safe route round. I wonder. Wait a second. Um, I can warp him. I can warp him over here. <laughs> uh, no, there's no purpose to doing that. I just love it though. All right. Um, then it's just you, right? That's my cue. Thank you. Yeah. Continue rallying for no reason. So Solon's now back there. So we do have to fight the Death Knight. That is worrying. Worrying would be the word I'd use to describe what's happening there. Hey, nice dodge. And you got your authority up to a C. Better battalions. Right. Well, I may have got myself into an unwinnable situation, but we'll see. See how unwinnable it really is. Um... Yeah, I know he's going to take the damage, but that's okay. If I move Petra here, I can use her to give speed to other people. Can I attack from here? No. But if I move... Alright, how many... I got three Divine Pulses. Okay, I'm going to move Petra up here. And wait with Petra. This then means I can move in here. I can then use the Gambit Stride. This will then hit the people at the back. Okay. You with me so far? So that now gives us two speed boosts. I can then run in here and use Resonant Flames. That does about zero damage to him. Okay. You are not the one I crave. My plan is flawless. So Resonant Flames? That will at least mean the ones behind her can't move, right? Oh no, I'm standing on a spot where others have died. That's always worrying to see. Oh, probably because he can't be affected, that's why... Yeah, yeah. Because he can't be affected by the non-movement, that's why it still has that sort of stuff there. Right. Gambit? Could use group flames. How much damage could you do? Out of curiosity. With the Horse Slayer. Horse Slayer Tempest Lance. You can do uh, 30 damage. So I need somebody who can do 16 damage. Edelgard? Can you do 16 damage? Yes. And you can live. You could almost kill. Do it. What are you trying to do here? Uh -huh. You are the one who should be answering that question. Stay out of my way. I like it. A little bit of background. Uh. What? To be left behind. Unacceptable. Did you just... Did you see that? She just got double crit. Stay focused. How do you even counter that? She just got double crit. <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. That's just... How? Did that even happen? Oh, I live with one of these. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I can hit like this and be okay. And that's a kill for Ferdinand. Do it. My pleasure. Do your best to kill me with that blade. No crit. I... I, I, I don't know what to say. Forgive me, everyone. It's a 24%. It's a 20... 
4% crit chance. How does he crit three t in three different realities? Alright. Begin player phase. Um, well, in which case, if if we're doing this, I like, the, literally my only option is to just retreat then, right? Wait, who can hit there? Is it like this guy or something? Oh, it must be one of the other riders can get it further. Wait, yeah, oh, it's the archer. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, in which case my only move is to walk away. And then stride next turn. Right? I will get the victory. I think so. Yeah. As you wish. Uh I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I will prevail. That's fine. Stay focused. That's the archer attacking her. It's fine. Yeah, we're still good here. Wait. Head through. Uh, wait. Okay. Over here. Put me in there. Uh, don't really know what I'm doing over here. I guess I could run Bernadetta in and use. In closer. Or I could run Bernadetta in and get her to almost kill this guy. Yeah, okay. I really hope no more random ones spawn. Oh, she does kill that guy. Okay. Well, we know that they spawned in the corner last time, so, you know. Go block the corner. <laughs> Just go block the corners. That's fine. Enemy phase. What are you trying to do? Oh, they're hitting Adel Guard. Okay. You're the one who should be answering Never mind. that question. Stay. Yeah, we've done this. Live. Don't die. Okay. To be left. Well. To screw me, I guess. He just crits every time. There's there's no counterplay. He just crits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can move up to here and attack to there. So we need to move like I will prevail. one space further than we can move. Good, 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 good. Um. Okay. Are we just screwed? How many things do we have? We have zero divine pulse charges. We might be screwed. Yeah. How do we not get crit by him? I am Ferdinand von Eyer. I mean, Ferdinand, you got a 27% chance of critting, okay? And crits happen every time, so... That's not gonna kill, is it? It's three times, so that would be not enough damage. I mean, that is quite clearly a 27% chance of killing him. That's higher than we've had. Horse Slayer is a 0% chance. 27% chance of a kill. There's no one else we can use because he crits every time. I think this is a fail. How else do we get out of here? Well, let's think about it. Well, no matter how far I run Edelgard, I could run her into the bush, right? That gives her plus one defense. Okay. That's about the best I've got. We run her into the bush for plus one defense. We either do that or we try and kill a lance. Do I think that she has more than 27% chance of living in the bush? I don't know. What's, her, what's his chance of hitting? 100%. All right, yeah. Just crit. Just crit. You are not the one I crave. Crit. That's not a crit. 
Miss. Miss. So shameful. Well. I guess we're gonna restart the fight then. <clears throat> yes, uh, I guess we're going to restart the fight then. That is, um, yeah. That, that doesn't feel good, to be honest. The fact that he crits in every timeline. Uh, but there you go. Wait, I was trying to think, what's, what's the... That's not the right one. <laughs> uh, I can't think of... Ah, there we go. There's the button I want to press. So how do you... You do, yes, you just retreat. Yeah. Here we go. Well, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same as I did last time. I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to go forward in time. I'm going to do all of what we did before. And then we're going to get back to roughly the same spot. So, and we're back. So, we're not quite in the same situation we're in, but we're in a very similar one. In that we're that about the same number of turns in, roughly. But you may notice the Death Knight hasn't spawned. Solon has not appeared. Basically, I think if you cross like here, maybe that's where it spawns them. So I just basically stayed back and cleared out the enemies while we could. Didn't save one of the villagers. Didn't get the same kind of crits I got last time. Pretty much that's where we're at. Um, I am wondering how we're going to get past this guy. But apart from that, we're fairly good. Uh, yeah, we can't get in here because there's too many foresty bits. But, yes, essentially what I'm thinking is we maybe trigger the Death Knight by doing that, and then just run away. Let's try this. I think that's going to trigger the Death Knight. So, we'll do that. Uh, over this side, well, it looks like Shamir needs to run away, so I'll just run her away. She can attack in here, and I'll do that, and then we can possibly just get the kill with Caspar. I mean, not if she misses. That's pretty bad. Um, right. Then we'll go for, like, the killer at... I don't really have anything that's going to kill this guy, huh? That's a real... That's a real shame. Okay, well, you know. Divine Pulse, why not? Just do one for the start of the uh, thing work. here. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run really far away. Like here, and then just wait. Uh, Kaspar is going to wait with uh, his stuff, because he's just got the unarmed weapon, so he should be fine. So let's wait there. Uh, I'm going to move Lintar over here. Bernadette is going to run over here. Uh, and then we're just going to end the turn, and Death Knight spawns now. Tomas, what are you doing here? Told Dare you. I even ask? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon. Yes. What's the I with yes, her? Yeah. We we got this. I'm the Death Knight. I crit when I shouldn't That's crit. Right. Oh, also, one of the villagers, like the enemy villagers, crit someone. And I was just like, <laughs> what? It's a two percent crit chance. It, it, it was shocking. Oh, dead soldier. Solon might just run at it. Oh no, he ran around the back. Yeah, so he runs around the back each time, so you do have to defeat the Death Knight on this one. Or you run... Ru you just go directly down the center. Hmm, interesting. I guess you could trigger it by running through the center instead of running around the right-hand side, and that would trigger the Death Knight. I am Ferdinand von Eich. Alright, so I'm thinking Ferdinand runs down here, and we fight him in this section. You know what I'm saying? So right down here. I will get the victory. Right. Um as you wish. So I'm working out where I need to be. I think I've screwed this up. That's fine. We probably have another turn to work this out anyway. No, I might have, I might be okay. Yeah. I will prevail. I'm fine. Stay focused. Something like that. There we go. That should be fine, right? Maybe. No, that's not going to be fine, but whatever. It'll do. Uh, can you kill the one who's next to you? Maybe. Yeah, 
Heavy draw. Jameer is doing good work. Happy we didn't bring Anna along. Um, well, given that, yeah, given that there's no benefit to being like in any particular square here, I'm just going to move around the corner. And then just start moving him towards Geralt. Uh, okay, well, whatever. Forgot these guys spawned in. Well, that's really not good. Oh, but because Shamir got the bonus from killing, he's actually okay. She got the extra stats. Okay. Right. A little bit of dodging still going on up there. That's amazing. The amount of times he's dodged. Hey, we dodged as well. Nice. Not sure where Geralt's going, but I assume he's going to help us kill this armored guy. Geralt's going to stand still. Okay, good. Stay um, vigilant. Head over here and use curved shot. Yep. So Shamir's basically on a survival mi mission, where she her entire job is to not die. Caspar is going to start running over. Here, um, we could probably use Enclosure, right? Yeah, we can just use Enclosure. Works for me. You need to move, because that's where the Death Knight can move to. Right. Wait. End turn? Uh, yeah, so that's going to hit everyone apart from Bernadetta and Edelgard, neither of which need it. I'm just thinking for stride. Right, end. Ah, the Death Knight didn't run all the way in. That, that sucks. He only ran two steps. So we might need to take a very long route. Casper is still doing all right here, though. He's fine. Yeah, because Death Knight only took two steps. We're kind of screwed. Yeah, because now he can attack everywhere. Oh, no. Wait, he can only go up to there? Oh, is that because if I kill this... If I kill this guy, I bet the Death Knight can go further. I'm going to move Bernadetta out here. And try and get her to kill this guy. She can't kill this guy. Okay. Well, might as well use Dead Eye. Right. If I use the short axe here, let's just see where they can attack to. No, that it. Oh, okay. We're fine then. We're in the exact same situation as we were in. Uh, you're in a little bit of a problem because of where that guy is. Is there any way I can get you over here to help? That's not going to be in range. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so Shamir. Run. <laughs> uh, here. I'm thinking run away. Right, and then we can get Mage to kill the next turn. Right. Death Knight's in. Okay, well. We're in the spot. This will take some strategy. Fantastic. He's attacking Gerald. That's ideal. And he stopped him from moving. Even better. Right. So Gerald should be good for a couple turns. Slightly worried about all the people back there, but we'll see. I might need to heal Gerald in a turn, but we should be fine. Um. Okay. So. Death Knight. <sighs> Let's think about this. So I'm thinking... We hit the Death Knight like this. And we survive. That's really, really good. It's a way of reducing number of attacks. I could use Blaze. That doesn't do that much damage. But I could stack on top tons and tons and tons of these... Uh, gambits, basically. How much damage can I do guaranteed with Fer Because Ferdinand can do the most, I think. How much can he do guaranteed with the Horse Slayer? It's actually 
Tempest Lance does more than Night Kneeler. Oh, I guess because it already has the bonus, maybe? So maybe you only get the bonus once. Okay, so that is 30 damage. How much does he do with Killer Lance? 23. Yeah, so 30 damage is what we... That's the base we got there. How much do you do with the Sword of the Creator? 26 damage. So yeah, 30 damage is the base. So if we can get them down to 30 health, which means we have to do 22 damage, we, we get a kill, right? How much does each Gambit do? Each Gambit, we're looking at like two. That's not really going to cut it. So we need somebody to hit with a sword, with like with a sword or something. He does 12 damage back, so that means he's going to do 36 damage if he hits. So if he only crits once, then we're fine, right? If he only crits a singular time, then we're fine. Because he'd do 36 damage plus 12, so no, that means he'd do 48 damage. That's stupid. So he would kill us if he crits once. And there's no axe which he doesn't crit once on. Okay. Just checking. He does have the thing where he can attack any distance, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can you survive a hit? No. Okay. That was an easy question, wasn't it? Um, can anyone... Su can, can we survive a hit? With any sword. Oh, I need to go closer to check other swords, but I think the answer is no. No, training sword, we could survive a hit. Okay. Training sword, we can survive a hit and we could use... That. that means we need to do 7 damage. The 24% chance crit. Hmm, okay. I like the odds. My pleasure. Do your best to kill me with that blade. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. That, that's, that's doable. We can, we can survive with that. Okay. So, we only need to do 7 damage. Wait, just checking here. Has the amount of damage that we do increased? Because... No. Because we had someone else nearby. No, it hasn't increased. Okay. Hubert, use your gambit. Resonant Flames does 7 damage. It's 100% hit. We've the done it. We only needed two My people to go in there. Flawless. So yeah, like, on the previous attempt, we had the exact same odds, by the way. Except it failed. Okay. In here. Get out your horse slayer. Get that Tempest Lance. Go. Ferdinand, you can do it. Death Knight down. Die. Level 19. The noble standard. And we got a dark seal. The death knight was just a distraction. Let's concentrate on killing Solon. Okay. Uh, we'll back off. And I'm gonna send her in here. I know there are flames, but. She doesn't take damage from anything else, so. Witness my power. And that seemed like a necessary thing to be done. Ooh, we got a crescent sickle as well. So you can attack all the way in, yeah. And you are cur you're probably gonna attack him. Let's say move, but then you probably attack Hubert, probably. What happens if I move here? Can you still attack? You can still attack Hubert. Mm. If I run up, can I use him closer? No. I can shoot with Deadeye, though. I can shoot with Deadeye from back here. Yes, this seems fair. It's not going to hit, but, you know. It's fine. Alright. Let's just save Gerald here. While we're at it. Because this one's a guaranteed save, pretty much. Good. Are we done? So that's all we needed on that side. Geralt can't move. 
he's safe for this turn. The only worry I have is that Hubert's going to get blasted by this soldier. Right? Can, oh, you could probably boost forward someone if we needed it. The only real problem is that Hubert's going to get hit, right? Anyone else can survive. Hubert might be able to survive. I just don't know if that's guaranteed. Okay. What's your range? Your range is three. Yeah, so you can attack because you can walk past there. Okay. We could rewind time. No, Hubert has to be three away at all times. Yeah. Okay. For it to work in the way that we've done it. Okay. I could have left Ferdinand here. What's your range? See, that's slightly problematic if I'd left Ferdinand there because he would have got blasted. Okay. I think I move and I... S oh, you know what I can do? Oh, no, but I can't do that and warp. <laughs> See, what I was thinking is I could heal... Like, I could warp Hubert away, then that means that I'm still at the same situation where Lapsa might get blasted. However, it might just live. I don't know much, how much damage they're going to do. Right, let's just try it. Let's see what what, it, what happens if I just heal. Right? Thank you. Because that is something that I, can, I know I can do. I... I'm going to move up here, not that it matters too much. Yeah. Just to be a little bit more optimal. There we are. Some more spawning in. Okay. Slightly problematic, but it's fine. Solon's now moving around. Villager's dead. Okay. We've rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Solon. Yes, correct. Archer shoots Hubert. He dodged one. He's alive. He dodged two. See, that's why I was saying maybe it's best to just see what happens. Instead of making assumptions, just go. Here's what's actually happening here. You can't hurt Edelgard. Don't, don't be silly. Yeah. Don't be silly. What are you doing? Oh, these are rampaging villagers. That's fine. You you should be able to defeat them. Right. Um. Here. Um. Yeah. First move. Get rid of this guy, I guess. Well, can you get rid of this one at the back? Yes, easily. Kill him. That's good. Should I have held back? Hubert, take a step forward and blast him. Yep, uh, just use my asthma. You could have at least tried. Received another crescent sickle. Think this through. Then attack in here with like training axe. I don't know. Something like that. Caspar? I see, what, what levels have we got everyone at? It's nice when you can actually say, what level is everyone? Do I want to get the kill of this person? Yes. Nice. No one makes it past me. Very, very solid. I could just start shooting over the top here. They probably should do. Yeah. Heavy draw, which uses a ton of durability, but gets Shamir to level 18. Cool. Move Bernadette up here. Let's do a little shot over the top. Didn't need to use the silver bow. That's a waste of durability on it. Apparently, I'm just made of money. Um, right, run up here. Can you get a heal onto... You can get a heal onto Gerald. Now, he's very important. Oh, he's the one I can't move. As in, I can't choose where he moves, so... Right. Let's head up here. Let's try and get this chest. I mean, we're, we're kind of on the right path, aren't we? So... 
Let's do it. Uh, yeah, you can't heal anyone. That's fine. Right. Wait. Attack for one. Attack's back for 32. And then on his turn, he'll get the kill. So we'll intend back this way because we've moved into this direction. Okay. I'm not as scared of Solon as I was of the Death Knight because he's a story-based kill, basically. Um, while well, the Death Knight's optional. So, uh, let's think about where we're going here. This might go real badly. That's okay. Um, get people where they need to be. Go forward here. We know that there could be some spawning to the left, unfortunately. We'll just do a little bit of a move in there. Get Casper up near the front, that sort of thing. Right. Head up this way. Heal in on Edelgard. Get her to cool health. Right. Level 19. Magic. Cool. If only my research had such results. Bernadetta can run a long way, as can Shamir. Right. Uh, as can we. I am going to use Eleven Sword there. Hey. Perfect comprehension. Fiendish blow for uh, Isithia. Nice. There's Solon. Okay. Now I really want to reach that chest. Is there any way I can do it with some of the- You have a chest key. I think. Is there any way that would work? No. Not necessarily. How far in could you... You see, we still need to kill that guy before you could even think about it. And the stride isn't going to give... How much does stride give you? You can probably work it out. Stride gives you move plus five. So, we could get around here. Two, three, four, five. So we could only reach that guy at max. I don't think we can get what's in that chest. Even if we somehow got to a stride... Is your attack range that or is your move range? I'm trying to see whether that's his attack range or move range. What's this do? Solon's preferred weapon. Oh, okay. Yeah, those who slither in the dark, that's fine. Right. Okay, so adjacent foes deal less damage. You can use Miasma. Finish Blow, Heart Seeker, Life Taker, Fiant Magic, Unsealed Magic. Okay, so we can attack him from any range. Fantastic. Why, why am I saying fantastic? Well, I can do this. You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? On you go, Bernadetta. Yeah. Nice. Well, I think I'm just going to kill him. I don't think I care what's in that chest enough. Petra? Get the XP while you're at it. Curved shot. Do we need to use that bow? Yes, we do. Okay. Do it. Goodbye, Solon. I know we missed out on conversation, potentially, but I think we're okay. I want him dead. Hard work created this. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? Huh. I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. Goodbye. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. We let him get away. I'll survey the village. There may still be enemies in hiding. You saved at least half the villagers. Large bullion. Okay. Advanced seal. And more XP for Petra. Right. 
stage complete. Shamir MVP? Well, she did basically uh, do one side of the fight by herself, so yeah. I'd say MVP. Deserved. Definitely. A little deserved. Right. Uh, let's do a save. And then... Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. Okay, now this is very interesting, because obviously we know who the Flame Emperor is. That armor. So... You're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. Oh, we've met all right. But back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. I was listening to the voice there. If you know it's Edelgard, you can tell it's Edelgard, if you know what I'm meaning. That, that, that's neat, because if you're listening to it, it's got the same kind of mannerisms of speech. Interesting. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now, I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. I will join your cause. You are lying. I can see that you cannot contain your fury toward me. Pity. No, I wasn't lying. I was being truthful. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen Lady Edelgard? Oh, okay. Well, this makes it a little lot more obvious as well, where Hubert's like, I don't know where Edelgard is. What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Okay, well, you get a few more clues hey, on this front. I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. What, you don't like the new outfit? How so? You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. You might be right. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. A reason to leave? Uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Okay. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. That implies that Sothis knows what's going on at the monastery. Professor, I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but admirable work out there. Yeah, Edelgard, give me a second. That implies that Sothis remembers what's going on at the monastery, even though Sothis says that she doesn't know like, she can't remember anything. I saw that as an interesting thing, so obviously she can remember some things. I guess she's a bit confused. I really believe we did all that we could. I wish that were true. Gerald said the same thing. We must try to stay positive, even through the horror. I hear the so-called Flame Emperor appeared in Ramire Village as well. Oh, you heard, did you? Hubert told me that you spoke with him. Uh-huh. 
He asked me to join forces with them. Really? Is that what you want, Professor? Don't look so angry, it's you. I do. Oh? But how can you trust someone without even knowing who they are? The foreshadowing is becoming less shadowing and more just... <laughs> I don't know. Just like a billboard banner thing saying, Edelgard is the Flame Emperor. Even if he wants you as an ally, his objectives are still unclear. If the Flame Emperor truly wishes to make use of your power, perhaps someday he will appear before you without his mask, and you can look in his eyes and decide what you believe. Adel, I need to ask you something. It's Monica. We never got to. We never get to speak with Monica. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I interrupt? No, not at all. If you'll excuse me, Professor. Oh. I was hoping for some more background on Monica, but I guess not. <laughs> We're not getting that. You did well handling that awful business in Ramire Village. I am certain the goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Who are these villains? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Okay. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. Yeah, and that's because the House Ordelia is where all of the mysterious mages are doing stuff. We get, we, we get it. After having worked at Gerig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officer's Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlan's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. They must be stopped. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, Please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the goddess Sothis protect you. Oh, the goddess is called Sothis? The goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? It's nothing. I see. In that case, farewell. I wonder what happens if you name your character Sothis. I imagine nothing. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go! Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. I guess that was more of a revel- that was definitely more of a revelation the first time. As you'd expect. Part 1. White Clouds. Ethereal Moon. The Cause of Sorrow. Though most stars will still glimmer in the crisp winter air, the Blue Sea Star has gone back into hiding. 
Legend states that the goddess prays for peace from her home in the heavens. In the town of Garik Mak, the anniversary of the monastery's completion nears, and the people's prayers intensify ahead of the Millennium Festival, still five years hence. Receive 5,000 gold from the Church of Saros' funding for this month's activities. It's Aloise's birthday. Oh, we're having a tea party. You know it. Aloise, um, calming nerve tea? I'm here, Professor. Aloise likes jokes. He likes being friendly. He likes a little bit of fishing. He likes eating. Sorry to trouble you. Maybe. I'm trying to think of the topics that are going to come I'll up. Finish this tea. All right. Huh? You like allies. You like talking about your friends. Uh. No. Huh? You like a new gambit. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You like past laughs. Yeah. Yeah. Two or three ain't bad. Nice tea time. Thanks for the tea, Professor. Let's do that again sometime soon. Sure. Charm increased. That's the main point. And it's Tuesday, Wednesday. Sounds like Mercedes wants to join Al uh, Lapsa's house. Will you hear them out? Yes. Definitely. Oh, Professor. I have a small request for you. I'd love it if you would add me to your class. I can just tell that studying under you every day would be such a treat. Sure. Wow, really? Thank you so much. I'm so happy. I hope to learn a lot from you. Mercedes joined your house. Cool. I think that's the last recruit. So we're done recruiting now, I think. Friday. Hanuman would like to speak with you. No. Saturday. What's happening on Saturday? Oh. We are planning a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yeah. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. We have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. A chapel? It is a building that was once a temporary sanctuary, at a time when the monastery was under renovation. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Which night? Reporting for duty, Lady Rhea. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Geralt has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, I forgot this was this month. Yeah, it's not going to be so good. Okay, it's a short month though. Look at the calendar. So it goes... So we got three paralogues, which effectively should be done this month. Or could be done. An ocean view. I don't even know if I want to do an ocean view. <laughs> an ocean view is, uh, yeah, that's Seteth and Flane. I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not a hundred percent sure I want to do that one, but we'll see. Um, anyway, first one, fish full, fist fools of fish, lots and lots of fish gets your professor level up, gets you money, which is good because we have none. Um, number two, probably gonna be battle. Number three, probably gonna be battle, realistically. Yeah. And then investigate the old chapel. Okay. Seems like a fairly straightforward month. Uh, we got anyone who can do certs? 
No, because we're still the only person who's above level 20. Okay. That's fine. Do I still have- I still had Edelgard on our old class. That's fine. I think that was deliberate, if I remember right. Uh, yeah. We don't really have anyone else who'd want to change class right now. Um, we have supports. Who do we have supports with? So, Lintart has a support with us. Okay. Um, and that was a time-locked support. Interesting. Okay. Hanuman has the support, obviously. Um, then Hubert has one with Hanuman. Yeah, makes sense. Kaspar has one with Shamir, and that'll be the one that Shamir has one. I'm assuming Shamir and Hanuman don't have one. No. Okay. Interesting. Well, with that, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.